This is Bear Scat Analysis. Warning, not for the faint-hearted. And this is by me, Gary J. Ordog, MD. And again, this is about Bear Scat. If this makes you queasy, please do not watch it. Bears are coming out of hibernation, like these black bears in this photo. Warning, this video is very graphic, not for the faint-hearted. You're going to see scat in this uh, video. To double their weight over the summer, they must eat a lot. And I'm speaking of black bears in this study. Bears are large, eat a lot, and so their scat is larger than most. Look at the size difference between that bear and the human. Quite a bit larger. So their scat is a lot larger. This is a study from one park of the scat of 50 bears that live in the park. And it was the last season the year 2021 black bear scat all blackberries that's what this one is uh, basically blackberries not well chewed you can still see the blackberries this one's full of blueberries not well chewed full of blueberries the solid uh, scat of blueberries here's a bear scat it uh, looks fairly old but it's compared to my size 13 shoe so it is very large, about a foot long. Here's a scat made out of blackberries and grain. So a little bit of a combination here. Uh, here's a scat made out of cherry pits and the fruit of the cherry, the meat of the cherry, uh, turns black in the scat. Here's another one with cherry pits, grain and berries. And uh, this one was fairly fresh. Here's another fresh one. This one is full of blueberries again. This not, not very well chewed, just chowed down and not chewed at all. Here, this one is from pumpkin. The bear ate a pumpkin, and uh, here it comes out. Sort of digested, but not really that well. Here's an old one made out of uh, blueberries. The bear ate almost exclusively blueberries when it uh, passed this scat. Uh, here's clumps of uh, meat, small animal products in this uh, scat and it's spread about. Here is a large scat made of corn and berries and plus some grain. Gives it the red color. You can see the corn in there. Kernels are not well chewed. Here's one with uh, animals, with fur and hair. Uh, this is um, well digested in this case. Here's more bear scat with animal products. Animal meat with fur has been partially digested and uh, forms a scat. Here, this was animal products with lots of fur, lots of white fur. So. Maybe a bunny rabbit, something like that, but uh, some animal that had a lot of fur. Uh, here's another one, older one, with uh, mainly blueberries, lots of blueberries, almost exclusively blueberries. Here's another one with animal meat and hair, uh, small animals, small animal parts, lots of uh, protein, and partially digested. Here's a uh, large one with corn, grain, and berries giving it the red color and the large corn kernels not well chewed here's meat hair some whole grains in this one and here's another one with uh, meat hairs and berries uh, in the scat of this uh, from this bear here's another one with the meat hair furs and the, and the white fur Again, maybe the uh, bunny rabbit or something with white fur. Okay, here's a bear trail with a scat. I've got the arrows pointing to two scats there. And the upper arrow pointing to the bear trail. Now this uh, park, the area was closed because there were approximately 50 bears in the area. And uh, too many bears to uh, be safe, I assume, for people to wander the trails. This uh, large bear scat had meat, whole grain, and corns. It was over three feet long. Uh, very large. 
there this one is full of huckleberries so the our huckleberries are red in color here not blue but red that turns the scat red with a lot of unchewed berries still present here's another one uh, full of huckleberries almost exclusively huckleberries uh, here's another one a little bit older maybe a few days old but exclusively huckleberries uh, giving it the red tinge and the whole berry still visible in the scat. Here's a bed, bear trail with uh, corn scat right there with the arrow on the bottom pointing to the corn scat. Here's an older bear scat uh, probably from a week ago and uh, here's another one last week's bear scat uh, it's in the gravel but is being washed away slowly uh, here's a fresh one corn this is very fresh corn probably still steaming and uh, here's another one that says some animal byproducts and a mixture with corn and grain so the omnivorous animal this bear ate uh, animals and plants on this occasion here's another one with berries and corn and the corn is not well chewed, it's still in kernel shape and form in the scat. Corn and whole grain, here's an older one. And you can see it's very large, it's spread out over several feet. Uh, here's another corn one on the, uh, on the sand, on the beach, at the park. This is an old one versus my size 13 shoe. Here's a new one, very fresh, still steaming, and composed mainly of corn. So there was a corn patch near the park and obviously the bears were getting in there. Here's one made out of berries, meat and grain versus my size 13 shoe so uh, it's at least a foot long and six inches wide. Here's a mega fresh corn still steaming hot I said uh, and also obviously very large compared to my uh, shoe. And here's one that's several feet in diameter, uh, made out of whole grain, that looks like the bear uh, slid its bottom side across the uh, sand here and smeared it. There's another one of grain. So you can see they eat various things here so far. Okay, the one on the left is corn, the one on the right is grain. The one on the left is fresher than the one on the right. Here's an older meat scat. And uh, here's another older meat scat. So after a while they'll uh, kill some of the grass there as they get washed away by the rain. Here's an old and a f also a fresh meat scat. Here's a older corn scat. Obviously partially washed away. Okay, here's another bear trail with two corn scats in the front. Those big piles of yellow material are corn scats. Here's a large corn scat uh, compared to my size 13 shoe. Lo and behold, apples. This bear w must have found an apple tree somewhere. I didn't see any nearby, but uh, there are some farms and probably some apple trees in the neighborhood because that was full of apples. This one, look at full of cherry pits so um, and it's a uh, fairly old but the cherry pits are all intact so it eats the cherries pits and all now look at this one whole cobs of corn so the bear has bitten the cob of corn into several sections but the whole swallowed the whole section so you've got whole pieces of corn and the cob uh, in the scat Okay, here's another one. Uh, omnivorous includes animal and plant parts. And again, it's large compared to my shoe. Uh, this one's a large uh, bear scat of whole grain and corn. So he's eating whole grains, corn. Here's one grain and berries. And you can see they're separated. So one meal he had grain and another meal he had berries. Here, fresh whole grains, steaming hot whole grain a few days old uh, and also on the lower part is some animal products 
All right, here, this is interesting. This is a cherry diarrhea, I called it. Uh, it's got cherry pits in it. It's a red color of cherries. And obviously it was liquid format when it hit the ground and splattered. Here's an omnivorous one. Here's the whole grains. Uh, now when I say whole grains, that includes grass and grain, wheat, barley, whatever uh, is growing or in the farmer's bins. Here's uh, animal parts with corn grain. So it's mainly uh, animal parts are visible, fur, skin, fragments. Okay, here, this uh, this cherries gave bear, obviously, diarrhea, uh, which may or may not be good. Corn around cherry. So the center part is cherries. There's corn around the outside. And here's uh, cherries, cherry pits, and some nuts. And it uh, looks like maybe even some grain. Uh, here's a large solid one of grain and berries. Okay, and here's see a, a pile of bear shoe. poo in the cranberry uh, here's patch. Here's bear scat in a cranberry field. So the bears would love the cranberries. Uh, Obviously, they're berries. Ball movement. And uh, then and it's, it's also in the cranberry uh, patch, so you don't want a little pick present behind ear, for the farmer. Potentially dirty. Cranberries growing this there. They're getting ripe. Um, and, and you can see uh, this scat is so don't very large. Pick them near this. Uh, this also gets in the water when they flood the fields, uh, etc. Okay, so move away from the uh, bear poo. Okay, this is one of the girls that I used to see every day, and uh, we called her Boo Boo, or I called her Scar Nose because of the scar on the nose. One time in the dark I didn't see her, and she didn't see me, and I brushed alongside her, and she was very soft, yes. The current study was all black bears, not any of these brown bears like this one. So this is all black bears like this one in the study. They were collected and analyzed from 50 black bears that inhabit the Kanaka Creek Park. And uh, the signs show that the area is closed, uh, probably because there's so many bears in the area to, for the safety of the tourists. From this study, bears are eating grains, berries, corn, small animals, and apples and fruit. And uh, in various amounts and in that order. So grains being the most significant. And uh, usually they eat only one food at a time, probably because that is what's available. So the scat will be mainly grain or mainly corn or mainly berries or sometimes meat. Uh, there's no signs that the park animals are eating trash. I found no trash in any of the scats. Um, but I would also like to say that they do not chew their food very well. So many of the uh, materials that they ate were still intact in the scat. So I did work for the Park Service previously. Here I am in 1972 working for the Maple Ridge Park Service. Uh, I, for many years, have studied uh, bear injuries, and that's also as a part of emergency medicine and trauma surgery that I was doing as well as the forensic examination. So thank you very much for your kind support and I appreciate your help and your support uh, with my videos and my current research uh, and Captain Kirk approved of me so how can you go wrong? <laughs> Please subscribe to my free channel press on my caricature below and thank you very much and have a good life.